Good morning, guys. I'm gonna tell you other stories. You're gonna have goosebumps, I promise you. Just in a few minutes. So see you now. Don't go anywhere. My name is Maria. I'm flight attendant with Emirates for more than 10 years already and I'm still one of the lucky ones uh, who fly. And we can start chatting on our, on our experience and super exciting but giving you goosebumps. Of all ghost stories that happened to myself and to my friends and friends of friends and my colleagues on the flights and in the hotels. So let's start from number one. Jakarta, Indonesia. I've been there since year one and many, many years back we used to stay in the resort. It's one of those hotels when you walk a long corridor, it's very dark and you can just feel that there is something, you know, this kind of atmosphere that is freaking out a little bit so you go to your room and as soon as you enter and you open the door you can see this huge closet in the corner and that closet was made of dark wood and on top of it there was this um, see-through part okay made of wood as well so every evening uh, the light inside the closet was on off on off all the time so you go to bed and the light you know starts clicking so you make sure you close your closet that is properly secured and it still goes on off off on off that flight was a layover so 24 hours we stayed right there what happened was that my colleague from korea had a friend who was staying in that hotel a little bit earlier before we came and uh, she was crew with us as well of course as soon as she entered to the room all she did was went to check out the room so it was safe nobody was inside then she walked to the restroom and as soon as you go there is like a huge mirror you know the full uh, length mirror on the um, wall so she was um, taking selfies probably the light was good there or she just felt like you know she needs to take some photos so after taking numerous photos she went to bed everything was fine next day she met the whole set of crew to go for the tour they went uh, all around indonesia and then after the wake-up call they went downstairs yeah the whole set of crew went on the flight so the flight was over in the bus when uh, the bus driver takes us from the aircraft to the headquarters in Dubai she was uh, dropping photos from the same trip with other crew and you know when she uh, dropped them accidentally she included the photos she made selfies in that bathroom so guys imagine she can see herself in the mirror like you are looking at me now and on top of her here in the corner there was a girl looking down at her just like literally like this looking down at her oh i have goosebumps i i still remember when she was telling me the story guys i freaked out big time big time another rumor was that girls could see a boy a little boy playing with the ball in the corridor and this boy was in many stories even if I go for a flight tomorrow and if I meet crew who are staying longer in the company that I'm staying so more than 10 years everyone knows the story so if you tell them Jakarta Indonesia they know the story because it's been very very famous <laughs> yeah it's very creepy guys i feel energy of the hotel very well and it happened to me a few times that i was changing the room as soon as i enter you feel the energy there is something that you just don't like very weird and creepy so it happened to me when i was in uniform going already to reception just to change the room and when i was asked what happened what something you didn't like I couldn't explain, I was just saying that uh, I don't want to stay there. 
please, if there is any room available anywhere, I will take it. And everybody was super sweet and nice just to change it for me. Oh my gosh. Guys, now it seemed to me that the door opened here. I, oh my gosh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I also bought for you a microphone here to make a better sound, but uh, I know this little one that clips on the shirt, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't fit in the camera. I have to get it only for phone. Okay, that was a little pause, okay? So let's go to destination number two. So the second uh, creepy destination and experience I encountered was in uh, South Africa, Johannesburg, okay? So just for you to know, it's a long flight. Before you go to South Africa, it's around maybe nine hours, nine and a half to get there. And then you have a few hotels in a neighborhood surrounded uh, and locked. So basically nobody can just enter the neighborhood uh, unless you pass security. So there are many stories which were mentioning one lady showing up randomly in the room, okay? The room, as you enter, is very long and there are these huge curtains. So the closet next, next to curtains finish uh, and you have like maybe one meter space from the closet till the window on both sides. Usually there is the iron board. So these curtains are so huge and the window that you see, the huge window, does not open just like, you know, just like that. It has to go like this up, just slightly, tiny bit. So there is just no way that you, like myself, that I can squeeze and go through the window. It's no way, okay? So the stories um, always mention that lady who was somehow appearing in the room at night. Either she was laying down on the bed next to another girl looking at her. So that girl who told me story, she told me, Maria, she's first class crew, okay? So she's here for a long time. She's like, Maria. I don't know if it was a dream, it was a reality, but I could not speak. I had something here that I just could not make a sound. When I woke up, I saw that lady looking at me, like staring next to me on the bed, and she said, do not say anything. The next moment, this girl told me she disappeared. She like faded like a ghost. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you should see that. I don't know if you see that, but it's a very, um, a lot of goosebumps. In Johannesburg, what happened to me was, um, you know, some hotels when you enter and you feel like you want to make sure it's gonna be secured and locked? On the door, in the room, you have two locks usually in the hotel. So the one that you just click and another one, uh, you either put a chain or you have another flip, like this flippy thingy that you just make left or right to secure the door from opening. Of course, we all lock our, lock our doors, right, for the night. So what happened in that hotel with me in Johannesburg, I usually put my cabin bag, which is the black cabin bag that you know, the small one, I put it usually against the door, another side. So if the door opens from the outside, the bag fell, falls. Ooh. Okay, so the bag just falls and uh, at that night, when I was sleeping, I heard that my back fell, that's how I woke up. And guys, I'll tell you that I would not advise anyone to feel what I felt that moment, because if the bag fell, it means the door was opening. But then again, you go there and you see that the door is completely locked and that there, are, it's, there is no way somebody could enter inside. But because you already know the stories, you are kind of mentally prepared that, you know, uh, Something might happen psychologically, no how, but uh, you should be ready for it, you know? Whew, very, very creepy. Another coffee. Next story was the aircraft, okay? These are the stories which I've heard from many crew, but nobody knows because um, you don't know exactly the person who was telling the stories. But uh, they say there is a haunted airplane and there is different things happening there. Like for example, you put a thing and then you cannot find it, or then you go to take your rest, as we call it the special uh, compartment where we sleep on long haul flights. So that something is happening there, the curtains get open, suddenly close, nobody's behind, that they found some objects there, making sure that the compartment was locked, the door to enter. And then they found something like a ball or a toy inside. So they say, uh, there is one aircraft that uh, is haunted 
and uh, I heard from one girl when I was very junior she was telling me she was I think from uh, maybe Korea also I cannot remember right now so she told me Maria you know that this aircraft registration is the aircraft haunted I was like no you're joking or no, like I don't believe these things uh, unless I see myself which I I'm glad I cannot see yeah some human like humans I believe we cannot see everything and that's good but we can feel energy and uh, she told me yeah 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 you know the aircraft if you go for a flight uh, there are depending on the airline there are different letters uh, let's say let's say for example ABC triple seven ABC and other letters uh, ABC means Alpha Bravo Charlie and that's only specifically for one aircraft so there is another aircraft let's say Bravo Charlie Fox so you know that uh, exactly this registration belongs to exactly that plane so she told me that yeah this airplane is the haunted airplane oh guys it was very scary very scary a lot of girls also say usually in a um, destination in Vietnam also I think Vietnam is one of those with the high stories risk yeah a lot of uh, girls go to the local markets yeah so you don't know what you buy unless you speak the language you might buy some ointment uh, that might have opium in it or that might have a snake poison in it but if you put it maybe on uh, the cut wound it may treat it yeah so that's tradition of particular countries and uh, that's how it works but when you don't know and you buy it uh, when it's advertised in the store you're not sure what you're buying so it was saying that uh, one of my colleagues bought in Vietnam bought uh, the hair mask and shampoo yeah, Echo Maid, um, beautiful price, uh, lovely store. Um, she didn't know what she was buying. Um, the only thing she knew was shampoo and the conditioner for the hair. So then uh, she put in the mask, everything. So the whole night she had hallucinations because it was the snake poison extract or maybe snake poison poison in the conditioner and shampoo she was going down to the reception and at night and she couldn't respond questions and that the uh, police came it was like the full investigation unless it was uh, uh, proven that it was because of that shampoo so you guys have to be super careful what you buy and uh, ending all these stories guys I have so many things to tell you especially now when we all miss flying and when we all love our jobs but we cannot enjoy it fully and we cannot we just cannot so we have to stay with that with that feeling and i really want to tell you more and answer your questions and i really want us to get 100k on this channel as soon as we will do it in just 20 something thousand left as soon as we will do it i will do a huge giveaway of whatever guys you want of the airplane jewels of uh, some souvenirs I will also make a call with you so I'm gonna call you and we're gonna chat either whatsapp call video call whatever you want so I'm gonna just talk to you if you want half an hour one hour we can just chat about anything and uh, ask me what else shall we do when we will get 100k because I'm so excited I decided to maybe make more videos here and I might need an editor because I enjoy filming so much you cannot imagine how many videos are right here on my camera that I'm uh, filming with the only problem is that uh, having so many pieces of videos to combine them and to glue to cut to put subtitles it all takes time and that's something that I'm mm, it's not uh, super exciting for me so I'm looking for an editor now to try to combine everything together and I'm so 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 excited to tell you more so as usual my name is Maria Instagram is a skyfly girl over here guys enjoy all my videos please tell me again in the comments what would you like to see what shall we talk about next because I have a few nice uh, things in my mind just to share with you and uh, I will answer the most popular questions from Instagram maybe in one of the videos and I can't wait to share with you much, much more. Please stay safe, enjoy your day today, and uh, pass a good message and give a hug to people you love, uh, because that is so important right now, especially if they are at the distance. So I hope that uh, you enjoy life, and no matter what is happening, it's gonna be over. Everything is gonna be all right. Stay happy, love yourself, and trust your heart. Bye!